So the Garfield movie is the latest attempt to turn this classic, iconic comic strip character into a feature-length film. And this time, it's Sony Animation's turn at this character, and Chris Pratt is voicing him, and boy... Honestly, if you're coming out with a popular IP in an animated movie, if you're looking for a star, chances are Chris Pratt is who you go for, I guess. I'll give Garfield credit for this one, though. At least Chris Pratt fits this role better than Mario, in my opinion. So in this one, Garfield has an unexpected reunion with his long-lost father, Vic, who's voiced here by Samuel L. Jackson, the legend Samuel L. Jackson. Vic is a scruffy street cat who draws Garfield into a high-stakes heist, and joining Garfield on this journey is his trusted sidekick, Odie. So let me start by saying this. When the trailers for the Garfield movie came out, I actually had some semblance of hope for this, because the marketing was heavily pushing that opening sequence with Garfield going into the attack Italian restaurant and that's how John adopts him. John being voiced here by Nicholas Holt by the way who actually I found really funny. And the marketing was selling the Garfield movie as this cutesy simple animated adventure. And every time I saw this trailer I had so much hype for this thing because yeah the Garfield movies I got as a kid weren't really all that special. I'm not afraid to admit that I thought the 2004 movie was funny as a kid but growing up I can objectively say that that Garfield movie with Bill Murray in it, a huge pile of shit. And Bill Murray himself will even tell you that. You have any regrets? <laughs> Garfield, maybe? So coming out of this Garfield movie, I can at least say it's better than the 2004 version. And the big reason why that is, is actually because the animation style is much better suited for a character like Garfield. The colors are a lot more vibrant, it's much easier on the eyes. The kids especially are going to eat up all the cutesy scenes involving Garfield. They're going to be howling at the slapstick. Which I'll admit, as a big fan of slapstick cartoons, it's decent slapstick. But I wouldn't say it's like groundbreaking slapstick either. And I think our voice casting is really spot on here. Chris Pratt actually does a very good job voicing Garfield, to his credit. Nicholas Holt, like I said, hilarious as John. Samuel L. Jackson, I feel like, has a lot of the heartsy moments. And that's one of the biggest praises coming out of the Garfield movie, is the connection that they develop between Garfield and his birth father. And it was pretty unexpectedly emotional. Like, I thought both actors really sold the levity of the situation here. And I think this movie definitely has a lot of creative elements in how to teach its message to the young audience. Now, I mentioned the word creative. This can be Garfield's biggest strength, but in my opinion, it's creativity, it's also its biggest weakness. If that doesn't make sense to you, let me put it this way. Do you guys remember when the Peanuts movie came out all those years ago and everybody was so concerned about it because Blue Sky, the people behind Ice Age were helming it? And they were like, oh great, yeah, how, how are they going to pull this off? What kind of stupid adventure is Charlie Brown going to get involved in? And lo and behold, Blue Sky actually got that movie right. It was super endearing. Even though there was one central story, a bunch of vignettes surrounded it. Just like a Peanuts comic strip. Because that's all you really need. The Garfield movie, I feel like, is way too complicated to its own detriment. Why does this need to be a heist movie? Like, I'm asking for a friend here. Why does the Garfield movie need to be centered around a heist? While I do appreciate that this movie does feel like it has a beginning, middle, and end, it takes away the simplicity of what makes Garfield Garfield. Like, there's jokes in this movie, but I couldn't name you one memorable punchline out of it. And also, let me just say this, Garfield is lazy. That is the pull and the big personality trait of this character. You put him in a heist-centric environment, and all that laziness has to go out the window. And it's not like they pull off the joke where Garfield is reluctant to go on this journey. No, it's more so his hesitation towards his father and his untrustworthiness of his father. But when you plug the Garfield IP onto this story, it just doesn't really add up and it doesn't really feel faithful to the original source material that way. Does that make sense? And also the blatant product placement and the references are way too hard to ignore. There is a Mission Impossible joke thrown in there. They're actually plugging in that theme song while they're going over the plan for the heist. And yeah, the joke doesn't really land for me. Not like it landed in Shrek 2, because that Mission Impossible reference was awesome. Because it came so out of left field, and it was so unexpected, and it involved Pinocchio being strung down by his strings. That is awesome. 
So even though I feel like this movie is a much better step in the right direction than the 2004 film was, the animation is very colorful, it's super energetic, it's a lot better suited for a character like Garfield. Because, I don't know, all these characters actually look like the comic characters. God, that 2004 movie still pisses me off with how much Odie does not look like the cartoon. And how Brecken Mayer isn't even presented like a dweeb. Ugh. Probably another video for another time down the line. But in the end, for a character as immortal as Garfield is, I think he deserves so much better than a generic heist movie. If this movie was going to be as memorable as I wanted it to be, it had to go the simple route. Because in the end, that's what the Garfield comic strips are. And none of them involve heists. I'm going to give the Garfield movie a C. It's not an awful movie. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. But it is certainly one of the animated movies of all time. But let me know what you think of the Garfield movie down in the comments section. Let me know if you guys have any memories growing up with the Garfield comic strips. Because I love what I do here. I love discussing all things in the cinematic world. If you guys are new to this channel, if you've stumbled across my channel for the first time through this video, welcome. Do consider subscribing today. Tap on that thumbs up as well. Especially if you want to see more fun content going into blockbuster season. Because, boy howdy, we have huge plans this summer on this channel. Stuff that you grow to expect from me, and a lot of things that you've never seen before out of Zach Goler on this channel. But guys, y'all are the best. Thank you again for tuning in. And with all that being said, Back Talk, commence. Yeah.